Hi, my name is TJ Singh and I'm the SIG product specialist with e &M. So I have a really cool demo in front of me right now, which has a conveyor. And we are basically going to do quality inspection of some Lego parts. We have some e &M flag Lego parts and I will run a quality check on that. For this, I'm going to use a SIG Inspector 2D Vision camera. Now this camera comes in a lot of different variants. For my application, I'm using a PIM60, which basically does positioning, inspection, as well as measurement. SIG also provides you a variety of lighting and lensing options. And for my application, I'm using a 10 millimeter focal length lens. So now with this camera, I can do a variety of different tasks, like positioning a cap on a bottle to inspect the label quality on a bottle, or even to do pick and place with a robot. Now to achieve my goal of inspection, I'm going to use the SIC software, which is available for free of cost on the SIC website. But before I jump into the software side of it, let me quickly explain you what the demo is about. So for our demo today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach a reference image of a good part to the camera, and then I'm gonna use the software and use different tools and then set up a case criteria, which is going to basically sort out the bad from the good parts. Let me show you how the process works. So you will have a red, so you will have a green for a good part and red for a bad part. Each time a bad part passes, you will have red signal. And when you have a good part passing through that, you will have a green. So as you just saw how the whole process works, but let's jump into a software demo where I will show you how I configured it so you can understand how intuitive the software is and how easy it is to set up this configuration. All right, so this is the basic interface for the Sopus ET software for Inspector. So I'll slow down the process and we have basically a good ENM Lego part and a bad ENM Lego part. And the objective is to distinguish between both of them. So the first step is basically to teach a reference object in the inspector, we need a reference object and we can use all different tools that are provided to us from SIC to basically set up a pass and a fail criteria. So the first step is to use object locator tool because we get the X and Y coordinates with this tool. And then we can use all other tools in conjunction to this one. So the green uh, counter basically shows us that this object has been uh, recognized now the next step is to basically use tools so like in my uh, application i have problems with getting a good m part so the edges on the m is probably missing many times so i'm going to focus on that and i'll use a edge pixel detector so edge pixel detector basically is going to count the number of pixels on the edges and if the M is missing, then we will obviously have lesser number of pixels. And on the right side, we can actually adjust this threshold. There's a window and it says that we can have the threshold between, uh, I'll set it at 145 to basically 237, which means that as long as the number of pixels is between this window, it should be a good part. And uh, I'll use another tool which can be a pattern tool. So the pattern tool also I'm going to use on the M. Basically, pattern tool gives me a percentage match. And if it's a good part, it's a 100% match. If it's a bad part, it's probably less than 95 or 94. So I'll take it as a 97%. And that's about it. And we can just run it. And we will know if we are passing or failing. You can see the red light that indicates that it's a failure. And we can actually visualize it using the results tab. And if we see here, the pattern tool fails because the percentage match is around 69%. So if the M is not complete, then the match is only 69%. And even the edge pixel counter is failing. You can see here, it's not between the window. That means that the number of pixels for a part which does not have the M is lesser than a good part. So that is how easy it is to basically set up the inspector cameras. Some other features also include the digital IOs. It, it can be customized right from the software. 
So apart from having IOs, we also have the power of Ethernet. We have Ethernet IP, TCP IP, as well as Ether CAT connections. And you can actually have a custom string of uh, data that you need back. And that value-based results can be used for machine control, as well as uh, image triggering or external teaching, as well as uh, reference object selection for a centralized device control. You also have uh, web APIs, which are very uh, flexible way to make a customized HMI design and for viewing of images for your runtime supervision. You also have uh, FTP, which basically is going to provide you continuous support for your external image storage. And that are some of the features and benefits of an inspector. Thank you. My name is TJ Singh and thank you for watching the video.